How's it going everybody? This is probably a video I should have done a long, long time ago. I'll probably make it my little uh, channel teaser when you first get on my channel. Begin a ton of subscribers and new subscribers and new climbers always ask, Josh, what is beta? Why do climbers say beta? And what's its dark, mysterious past? Climbing is essentially a choreographed vertical dance on rock. The harder the climb, the more exact the moves and timing needs to be. It could turn into a real puzzle, trying to solve what we call problems. If you're brand new to climbing, you may find yourself wandering into a rock gym one day and fumbling up the easiest route you could find, looking like a brand newborn deer. Any climber with some experience could smell your blood in the water and in a friendly manner come over and say, do you want the beta? Welcome to the wonderful world of climbing lingo. Don't worry, they're not saying you're not alpha. It's the late 80s, early 90s when Jack Milski's on the scene. My father first met him when he would frequent the gunks, but he was a well-known Texan climber and lived in Colorado Springs. Jack would have very descriptive terms when it came to climbing. No, put your right toe on that chicken head, two inches up and your foot over there. Now grab that lip of that ear with your left hand. No, not like that. Before Jack, this was just known as a description of the route or pre-knowledge of the route. Jack started to film his climbs, which he would save in an old file format known as Betamax. And when climbers would ask Jack about a route, he would say, do you want the beta, Max? And so the term was coined. Knowledge of the route started to be called beta. If someone could show you the code required to solve the puzzle, then you have required an enormous amount of aid. You are essentially able to piggyback on years of experience of a climber. This is why any beta will ruin an onsite. In case you didn't know, an onsite is when you could just walk up to any climb Climb it first try, first go, without any previous knowledge, no falls. In the harder grades especially, this proves that you are indeed a competent climber of that grade. After all, beta is any knowledge, so if you are climbing, let's say, trad for instance, placing your own gear into the rock, then knowing what gear and where to place it can greatly decrease the time on the route, making or breaking a send. Unfortunately, Jack's story took a horrifying twist. He was murdered in 1997 at age 38 by his girlfriend in what was called a fatal attraction. She tried to plead insanity but was sentenced to life in prison. Today, Jack's contribution lives on in every climber, whether they know it or not. Everybody, everywhere, and every gym I've ever been to uses the term beta now. Another form of the term for beta is beta, which kind of sounds like better. I found this pretty funny and affectionately named the channel Beta Climbers. Uh, beta Climber is a better climber, after all, and it's beta, not beta. Well, I hope you enjoyed that extra little bit of information. If you're new to climbing or new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. Climbing is all we do. I got a wealth of information on my channel, and I have a Discord where you can just ask people whatever crazy questions on your mind, and we'll answer it. So check the links below. Joshua Perry, climbing out of here.